Okay. All right, who's all here? If you're present in the chat, say hi or hi. There's 31 people here. I hope you guys are hitting the YouTube links, talking to me, being a person. Are you a holiday person? If so, favorite holiday and what favorite part of the holiday? Okay, that sounds good. That's a good way to start it. Two hours, 26 minutes in. We are starting the podcast now. First question of the podcast is, are you a holiday person? If so, what is your favorite holiday and favorite part of the holiday? Okay, well, I will say... Um, I do have a top three. I like Christmas, I like Thanksgiving, and I like Easter. Easter's good for the kids. I think Thanksgiving's good for family. I think uh, Christmas is the best because everybody gets what they want or tries to appease the rest of the family members or friends. And plus, it's Christian. It's a Christian holiday. Okay, Nick is here, Tony's here, Faptism's here, 3030 is here, Glorbo is here, Buns is here. Milk or cereal first? Very important. Mm. Yeah, I go, I go cereal first. Cereal first. Does anybody else in chat want to answer the first question from Joe? Joe's kicked off the podcast with a very, very, very good question. <clears throat> what is the most important quality of, in a good friend? Nick, thank you. You're asking amazing. That's a good question. Mwah. Thank you. Great question. Uh, most important quality in a good friend, in my opinion, is the availability to be there. Okay, uh, availability that can be in the same class as availability. Uh, being there doesn't mean physically. Could just be mentally. Could be emotionally. Could be mutually. Could be any of the things above. Okay, but the ability to be there is the best quality you could have in a friend. Because uh, you know, I love turn up and bear more than anything in the world but if I only see them once every three months it's not you know that availability isn't there for me I can't I can't call on them when I when my house burns down you know I mean I don't expect them to but you get what I'm saying though like I, it, sometimes you never know what people are going through and sometimes people don't have that emergency call line and the only people they want to call are their friends not exactly a counselor or somebody that doesn't understand you so I think that is the most important quality in a good friend the availability to be there. Okay, that's okay, Buns. Eggnog and Frosted Flakes? Got that thick cereal. Wait, you pour the juice, then the cereal? That sounds terrible. You got to put the cereal first and then let milk lay over the top of it. If you do anything, any out of order than that, then there's something wrong with you. Seriously. Does so anybody want to answer those questions in chat as well? Anybody want to reflect? Water or milk and oatmeal? I don't know. I've I've always I don't know. I'm pretty sure milk is better, but I've I've always did water because I normally normally if I'm making oatmeal, that's because I'm out of milk because I'd be doing cereal too. Do you have any regrets in life? Plenty. I have plenty of regrets in life. There's plenty of things I wish I could take back. I would have a couple ex-girlfriends back. I'd have a couple people still in my life. There's a couple things that I regret letting in. You know? That's like asking if your family was poor. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> water if I'm cutting, milk if I'm bulking. I do milk because it gives more flavor. We can only afford water in the oatmeal. That's what I'm saying, Joe. Like, if you have milk, you you shouldn't be making oatmeal if you got milk, bro. You should be making cereal. You should be making breakfast. Hey, bro, listen. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, bro. That's, that's you got real facts. That's real facts, bro. If you got milk, you making breakfast. You got milk, you make you a pancake or something, bro. You got milk and you put in your oatmeal, bro? That means you rich. Nah. If, if 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 you put water in your oatmeal, the apples and cinnamon oatmeal was the fancy kind, like quotes, air quotes. Everybody wanted apple apple cinnamon because it had them little apple pieces in it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro, you rich if you put milk in your oatmeal. You have dealt with a lot of loss, especially recently. What are some of the things you did to help you overcome these challenging times? I'm going to be honest with you, bro. 
it's nothing I did to help me get over it. I think about it all the time. But because it's me, I I think the reason why I've chose to try to act uh, as if I'm over it or try not to be obliged by it as much as I was before is because I'm me. I'm not everybody has been shot, stabbed, drowned, burnt alive, you know. I feel like if I would have if I was supposed to be dead inside or out, it would have been happened already by now. So God is only going to put me through worse or better. And if I've lost so much and I've lost everything already, there's nothing else I can lose except myself. As long as I got myself intact, I won't lose anything else, no matter how much it means to me. I know that sounds crazy, but not a lot of people have lived my life. I can't do water, to be honest. It's so bad. I feel like oatmeal holds me over more. <clears throat> I don't know, bro. Uh, to be fair, I didn't even try oatmeal until I was in the military program, bro. I was like 17 years old when I tried oatmeal. I never had oatmeal. And uh, I tried it, and I was like, damn, this is really good. Like, this is fire. This is something I can work with, you know? <laughs> I can work with oatmeal. This is pretty good. Which one's better, grits or oatmeal? Grits. Grits is way better. I'm a southern oh, boy, so I got a grits. Cheese. Mm. Cheese grits, shrimp and grits, butter grits, lump grits, soft grits, hard grits, bubble grits. All right. Grits, grits, grits. Ferrana? What the hell is Ferrana? If you like cream of wheat, we can't be friends, though. I'm just saying. Hey, I don't even know what the hell that is, bro. I be seeing the people be eating them day over extra oats. I had to ask. Uh, Nick, what the hell it was? They the overday oats, you know, the ones that be sitting outside overnight or something, and it looks like a damn lump of coal, but uh, made out of no, oats. Bro, you eat be soggy and man. Ugh. Nah, I hate that. Cream we disgusting. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. We all know why Coke and Pepsi is better. Why Coke is better than Pepsi? If you had an original Pepsi's Coke, better. nah, nah. If you had original Coke from back in the day before they the real Coke, but had Coke in it, all right, all right. Better quit playing. Coke is the way to go. How about you guys? Chat. What do y'all feel like? Coke or Pepsi? Coke is too spicy. What y'all thinking, chat? Coke. All that fizzy carbonation, that's just too much for me. Pepsi's a little softer and sweeter, and I'm cool with that. Anybody else in chat? Coke, but Pepsi Max is better than Coke Zero. Coke Zero is terrible. You talking about the silver cans, bro? Oh, ugh. I used to lose my mind, brother. Who's a grandpa? Hey, Y'all know RC Cola got them both on lock, though. All right, so chat just asked me, what war bird would you take out for a joy ride if you were in the late August, uh, perfectly hot, sunny day? You mean like a jet, right? You're not talking like an actual bird that you would try to make it to a war bird. You're talking about a jet, right? I'm going to bring I'm gonna bring the Tomcat. I'm going to go Top Gun. Uh, World War II prop? Oh, uh, uh. Mmm. I would say anything other than the F-35 because I don't want to get ejected unexpectedly. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hop in a JU, man. I'm either going to get into JU or maybe like a, I don't know. Stu, uh, it's got to be JU, Stuka, maybe a P-47, maybe. Those would probably be my top three picks. You got any questions for me, Buns? What about Tony? Anybody else in chat got questions for me? We're only 10 minutes into the podcast. We've got three to four questions so far. It's mostly my answers. I know we got some chat answers in the chat. Remember, this is a YouTube bit, guys, so there's no music. It's just us talking, chat, 
is responding. So when we pull it up on YouTube, you're going to see the questions. You're going to see your responses in the chat. And it's going to be a direct one-on-one with OPG. What made you want to start streaming? So I love telling this story. It's pretty gangster. Uh, my ex-girlfriend, the first original Miss OPG, um, told me that she wanted to be a streamer. And um, I said, what the hell is a streamer? And she was like, you don't know what streaming is? Um, so she showed me a little bit what it was. But I still didn't know what it was. I thought streaming was just like people being able to see you off the Xbox. Because, you know, like... Yeah, we sure totally smoked that joint. So I was playing regular Xbox games, streaming off the Xbox immediately. But during that first week, I had a buddy at work. Because I was working at the time at Apple. And my girlfriend was like, hey, you're always coming home. And I got to rush home to see you. Because if you don't see... If I don't see you first, you're going to be on the game playing with your friends. You know what I'm saying? So, I used to fight my girlfriend and my mama when I got home because I work all day and I want to go game. And they're like, go spend time with your girlfriend. Go do regular human stuff. I'm like, why would I want to be a regular human? I already work like a regular human. I want to do me. You know? So, a week later from actually started streaming, a buddy from my work was like, uh, hey man, have you ever checked your chat? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, man, you got like a thousand live viewers, man, a thousand followers and stuff, man. Like, you ain't talking to your chat, bro. I'm talking to you. You don't even, you don't even see me. Um, so, yeah, by the time that I got home a week later from streaming, I already had like 2,000 followers, a couple thousand views. They thought I was Post Malone, so I just ran with it, you know? Tell us about your time on Mixer, how you got started, how you grew, et cetera, how it felt when it closed. Okay, I can wrap that in with this. Top specific memory from all your years of streaming? Okay, these are good questions. Um, so, about two weeks in, that's when I realized I was a streamer for real. And I knew what it was. And that, that same week, Ninja came over. Uh, Ninja came over from Twitch to Mixer. So I was basically getting famous because the big streamers weren't there yet. They had to find someone to be big, and I just had a good story. So apparently they gassed me up. And uh, I was only there for nine months, but I got 10,000 followers, about 100, well, 950,000 live views in nine months. Um, it was awesome there. Um, I was never partnered, so I wasn't getting subs. I didn't get a sub until I was on Twitch. I never even knew what a sub was. Um, I was streaming for free for six months. Finally, I had to quit my job to take it serious. And I was making good money my first three months trying. I quit my job. My girlfriend left me as soon as I got my first check because she wanted to have a baby. I wasn't financially stable yet. She left me. I went all in on Mixer. Then Mixer crashed. Broke my heart because it crashed. It, it, it got shut down the day of my birthday. So... They denied me for partner on my birthday. I, I, I did a short stream on my birthday because I was trying for partner. The next day, Mixer shut down. They did me so dirty. They said that I didn't have enough activity. They gave people with like a 20 view count average partner so they can go to Facebook and be partner. I had it rough, man. They made me start over. They made me try again. They made me either accept a Facebook contract or... Um, there was a thing called Trovo at the time that was kind of like kick. You could do all these, th you know, and it's just like, it was just very unfair to me that I just lost my girlfriend, quit my job, took this seriously, got passed off, and then I had to start over again. Um, <clears throat> why, <clears throat> why aren't some of the YouTube folks not subscribed? I don't know. Like I said, I'm only a, one person. I'm only one content creator. I feel like I do a very good job of, of being a full-time streamer. I feel like I'm very consistent. I feel like I'm overly personable to my viewers and friends and subscribers. So, anything else is on them. Uh, let's see. Um, but yeah, I would say that that was the whole tenure from Mixer. 
What is my top streaming memory? Um, this is from Tony. If Tony's still here, I'm, I'm here to answer this. My top specific memory from all my years of streaming has to be like, hmm. I don't know, man. There's some big ones, bro. I had some big days, man. Like that birthday on Mixer, even though I closed it up, I, that was the most viewers I ever had in a stream, which was like 781. I had 781 viewers, which was wild. Uh like 781 consecutive viewers so like that was the top of people talking and active um i would say my first week of twitch was the best um i had a thousand subscribers in my first week of twitch uh, before i had a thousand followers i had uh almost 100 chatters so we can get 100 vips um, that was back when support was real, man. That was back when you could just cut on a stream and friends were just there, you know? They would be like, I could just say, hey, I'm live now, or hey, I need someone to do this, and they would just be there, bro, for no questions asked. And then, you know, but I, I, I go, this goes to some of my regrets, you know, what Nick was talking about. And I wish I would have treated those guys better than the people that were around me, because the people that were behind me during that time were the people that were my core, and all the people that were doing that naturally, I was giving the gas to the people that were my core. And as soon as I did that, all my core people left and all the people that were actually support were like, well, shit, you know, he sees us, he supports us, but he don't treat us like a core member or something. So because I always was team oriented, they, they used that as a knack against me, which was messed up. Uh, what is the list of famous people you've killed in game? Okay, uh, like top streamers and stuff. Um, I don't know. That's a pretty long list, dude. It's a long list. There's still people I I don't remember names about that are pretty decent. Um, but the ones that I can go off track, like with with receipts that have like actual eidetic proof. Uh, Tifu, Tim the Tatman, <clears throat> uh, Phase Doozy, Swag, uh, Shroud. Um, Who else? A couple of Tfue's groups, a couple of his little like members. Uh, Nick Merckx, Nick Merckx's friends, a couple of Nick Merckx's friends. Nick Merckx is my favorite streamer, by the way. So, and I didn't kill Nick Merckx. My friend killed Nick Merckx, but we were part of the same squad, so it was all the same game. Um, and then we'll have to go like littler streamers I guess like Bolo Attack who's a Twitch partner some of my friends like I said you know um, MP Edits I've killed Grenader Jake I've killed Spooky Skeleton I've killed uh, a couple Twitch partners on Dead by Daylight 4k first month um, We've uh, taken out some of the top streamers on the games that we played on Farlight and stuff. You know, just, I don't, that's what I'm saying. The smaller guys, I don't remember the exact names, but, uh, you know, if they got a, a Twitch partner or a YouTube partner symbol, then, you know, I guess it's good enough. Um, But, yeah, I'll say that's mostly the list. Tim the Tap Man is probably the one that I got the most airtime with. Bobby Pop Gaming. Bobby Pop was a good one. Um, Bobby actually gave me a shout out on his stream. Bobby was like, hey, this guy, this OPG guy is good. He even said Bear was good too. He was like, Tifu, Bobby Poff, two of his mans were like, yo, this, these, this OPG guys are good. They're like, it was Big Bear, OPG, it was myself, it was Lesto and Narcissist. And we had a great day. So that would probably be the best day ever. Tony, to be fair. The best day ever was probably... I got raided by Bolo Vlogs. I had 130 viewers, and we played COD all day. I was with three of my homeboys. We're dropping 20 kill games apiece, and we played four hours straight. An hour of those four hours was running into Bobby Poff and Tifu, like me, like back to back to back to back to back to back. Like we did not, we had no clue that we were getting in their lobbies back to back to back to back. They thought they were stream sniping. We, they thought that we were stream sniping them, so they realized I was live. And to be fair, we've been killed over three games, but then I realized, really, like, actually read the name. And I'm like, oh, shoot, it's Bobby Pop Gaming. And then I'm going to his stream, and Bobby Pop's like, I'm tired of this OPG guy. And I'm like, hold on. I'm like, wait. 
That wasn't my first time killing them. I'm like, wait, we've been mopping the floor with them, you know? Bear's like, bro, that's the real Tifu, bro. That's fucking, you know? So I'm like, oh, man. So then, like, at the time, that's when I didn't know about bods and stuff. Like, I was an, ex I was a, an experienced streamer. I've been streaming two years. But like I said, I'm not very uh, savvy. You know, so I don't know. It made me feel some type of way that I I, I realized late, but it was good, man. It was good games, uh, good time. It was good. It was a peak. Um, we killed Bobby Pop and all them, and we got. I was able to record, screen record it because I didn't have vods checked off then. Like my vods weren't set up then. So I missed the VOD completely. I had to pull from Bobby's stream, not my stream. So I couldn't get my angle, but I got Bobby's angle. And, and he was just like, you know, giving us kudos and stuff like that. That was the only streamer, even though he didn't respect me. as like I came in, followed him, talked to him. He gave me a, a kudos, but he didn't like follow me back or nothing. He didn't treat me with respect. He just gave me that nod. And that's what I liked, you know. Most, even even the streamers in my category that I uh, that I've rated and dropped nukes on in War Thunder don't do that, you know. So that's a great question, Nick. It's a great question, Tony. It's very good. Anybody else got any more questions for me? Leo two or the Challenger two? Personally, I'm a very I love leopards, but the Challenger is supposedly better. The Challenger for uh, Britain, right? With the fuse rounds, correct? Chemical fuse rounds? Yeah, Challenger is better. Challenger is definitely better. Okay, what are some goals for 2024? I love that. I love that. That's a great question, Buns. Advice for someone trying to get more subs but got plenty of followers. Are you trying to get subs on YouTube or are you talking about subs on stream? Um, so yeah, that's my answer to you, Glorbo. Since you play a lot of War Thunder and D2, which community do you align yourself with more and why? It's about even, man. I'm going to be fair with you, Nick. I, I love every game that I play. There's only one game I love more than anything. It's Siege and Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1, they have special places in my heart, you know? And so does Siege. Besides that, man, I'm here. And War Thunder D2, I'm very good at War Thunder. I'm moderate at D2, but I could be very, very good at D2 if I had other people that were just as good as me or better around me. Um, I don't know, man. I think it's a little bit of an edge on War Thunder because, like I said, I'm more military. I've always grown up on military routes. I know, like, all types of tanks, guns, and stuff. Like, I'm just a country boy, city boy, so I know all types of stuff. Destiny is more fantasy and lore, and PvE, PvP. I only see myself on the PvP end. But Destiny community is very, very toxic. Not very nice. They're very, very mean. They don't support streamers. War Thunder, they are they blackball. They act like uh, they don't see you there. They watch the work you put in. And they're like, good job. Let's go ahead and show somebody else love while we watch what you did. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to connect to either one of them better than what I've already done. I love the games, but you can't make people love the creator. Might download R6 just to play with you. I'm on PC, though. I mean, yeah, same. Uh, my answer to you for Twitch subs is I'm not a big... To me, I'm not... I don't know if you guys could tell. I'm big about gas. Like, yeah, I'm like, hey, guys, bit me up. Or, hey, guys, hype train. But Twitch takes half of the sub money, you know? I only like getting subs if that sub's going to be there. Or, you know, like, they actually enjoy using my emotes. You know, getting more channel points. Um, so, but if you are pushing for subs, like if there's like a month, like September, that's when, then, then it's okay to push for subs. Cause then it's like, you're not knocking your community's pockets, you know? Cause at the end of the day, I got to pay my bills and how many people come in here and be like, Hey pocket, I got a charity event. Would you like to host it? Or like, Hey man, I know you've been sick for four days. Would you like to subscribe to my channel for five American dollars? You know? And I'm like, Hey man, I don't. I don't sit here and tell you what I need, you know, and when, once you, once you, once people see the output that you put into this, 
I'm pretty sure that hitting a sub button or swiping a credit card for $5 doesn't hurt them as bad when they see what you put into them. Because even though you spend a lot of time being there for people, when it's time to reflect, people don't always necessarily do that for you. Maybe up the days. I know that you only have Monday, but maybe switch more with the misses if, if you can. Or, you know, like, you just got to reach different crowds. You know, you just got to, you got to stick your finger in everything. You got to be that needle in the haystack where they pull you out and they'd be like, damn, this is, that guy, 133rd is cool. And then they come out, they're like, well, he's a good guy. But then you're like, oh, all right, well, he's got everything. Pause. No, he's got everything. Hey, I love you, Joe. Everybody say peace out to Joe. What are some goals for 2024? My goal is to have a girlfriend, like, fully. My goal is to be Twitch partnered, YouTube partnered. If I'm not either of those, you too, homie. that'll be it. That'll be the end of the run for OPG. Tell the stories of one-eyed Billy. All right, guys. So if you guys don't know, man, Billy is a person that I... Billy's actually a real person. Okay? Some things don't need your finger in it. Hey, you stick your finger in the uh, in the needle, uh, in a haystack and find a needle. You're going to be all right sticking your fingers in that. All right? Hey, yo. But Tony and Buns was here for that day. So the same day that I told you about Faze Doozy... Remember, uh, Nick, you were talking about famous streamers I killed? Buns and Tony will tell you, I used to average about 50, 60, 70 viewers on Call of Duty. And there was, it was the day that I killed Phase Doozy. I was on a very, I was on a burner, had a very good day. I killed a lot of people, a lot of high kill games. And I remember it was me, turn up. This guy named Beard, Bearded something, one of my friends, he was a tatted dude, Bearded guy, I forgot his name though. And there was a random on our team named freaking Billy. Billy something, I don't know what it was, Billy something. So, anyways, it's a cakewalk. The game is a cakewalk. This is original for Dansk. This is... This is the original map, everyone is having fun, 150 people... Drop no, not bearded Merc. He wasn't even around. F that dude. That guy's a clown. Um, freaking. It was some other stuff, man. I don't know, man. It was like 150 people on the drop. I had like 75 live viewers. I had three homies and then one guy named Billy on my team. So I had like 17, 18 kills. Turn up got like six. Bearded's got like 12. Billy's got like two. Okay. And there's only like four people left in the game and the, the end circle is like maybe this big. Like it's still big enough. So there's us four versus three teams and there's like five people left on the field. So that means that there's one, one team has three, one team has two, one team has one. We have four. Okay? So it's three, two, one, six. Two. So there's ten people left on the field and we have four of those people. Okay? Four. Y'all ready? Who's, who's doing the math? Tony? Y'all doing the math? There's 10 people on the field. I got 17 kills. Everybody else is doing decent. Billy's got two kills. There's three, two, one left on the field, okay? I down one, down another one, full kill the single, and down another one, okay? We lost this game. We lost this game, okay? We lost this game. Some guy gets in the car, runs over, turn up. Bearded loses a 1v1 with the only other guy in the field. The guy in the car runs over me. So now I'm down. I got everyone down. I'm at 19. There's only one person left to be killed. It's the guy in the car. Bearded trades with the guy 1v1. So it's a 1v1 with the guy in the car and Billy. And the guy in the car, car blew up. So I am screaming Billy. Billy, rest. We have three knocked. We're knocked. There's one person left in the field and it's me and you. Billy has two kills, and let me tell you what Billy does, okay? Billy does more than swings and miss. He basically just backed out the game. You might as well at this point, because we're screaming Billy, telling him where he's at, telling him to res us, and he's gone. He don't know if he wants to res. He don't know if he wants to walk. He don't know if he wants to shoot. So he freaking kills Billy, and there's two people knocked, one off the winning team and one off the other team that I knocked. So not only do I not get my other two kills, 
off top of 19. We lose the game. We get third place. Billy gets two kills. I end with 19 kills, and we get third place. And that is how Billy got originated. Please do not be Billy, because I was screaming at Billy. I was begging Billy to do anything besides two kills. Billy was there the whole game. He had a cakewalk. There, literally, there's only two more possible people to kill, and one of my mans traded with him, and he was on his back. Vehicle's blown up. Billy let us down. So that is the story of One-Eyed Billy. If you guys are wondering where I get Billy Slap or Billy from or, hey, he's a Billy, that is because of One-Eyed Billy. So now you know what Billy means. Are you a Billy? Are you the guy? Are you that random that we don't want? That is what Billy means. Billy means that you're that random that nobody wants. If you watched the full game of a Billy, you'd understand why Billy is unacceptable here. You get? Y'all like those? Okay, what is this Bad Motor challenge? Bad Motor is the first subscriber or it's a challenge just for him. So, what it is, for Bad Motor, I'm going to personally give him um, something nice, you know? The Bad Motor challenge for the chat, I can't tell. Bad Motor for himself, it's a personal challenge for himself to do. It's going to be different to a regular viewer, but to someone that is a mod or VIP or bad motor himself, he gets a more personable hand-to-hand, -hand, you know? I'm going to probably, there's three things I'm going to do for him, most likely. Um, I'm per probably going to pay someone to do his emotes, if he ever just wants some, some personalized emotes. That will just be in the background. I'm probably, I don't think he's here right now. Bad motor, are you here? Hello? I want you to close your ears if you are here. Um... I'm probably going to try Vegemite on stream for him. That's probably the big deal. I'll probably like get a jar of Vegemite sent to me. And I'll try Vegemite on stream for Bad Motor. Yeah. Um, and then thirdly, I'll probably like, you know, get the chat to do something special for him. I don't know. Somebody that could send a P.O. box or something. Like try to send him an American shirt with a couple signatures. Or something. You know, just something that's like modest. And meaningful to all the people that he's been around and been a part of, you know? But for the chat, if it, like, for what you guys, it would be to basically be Bat Motor. You would basically, since you got that many points, you're now a mod, you're now an editor, you are now an Australian, you are now one of the favorable people in the community, you're on all platforms, it's just like an all-in-all -all challenge. So, yeah, if you get a bad motor challenge, you're like the, you'll get treated better, you'll get treated as motor, you know? You'd be a global OPG moderator, so you'd have to be a mod in everybody's chat that I know personally that I fuck with, you know? I think it's a big deal. I think it's a very, very big deal. Any other questions in the chat? Do y'all like, uh, are y'all enjoying the podcast? See, you like? Any other questions? Any other questions for OPG? Will I ever sell Team OPG merch? No, I will not. I will sell OPG merch, but not Team OPG. Um... I got to get more in depth and know what I'm doing. Because, like I said, I'm not going to be doing those spring tree. You know what I'm talking about? Like the ones that you just go online, they, they slap your logo on a white t-shirt, and it is what it is. But I don't know, bro. Y'all guys know I, I take it very seriously. So if I was going to do anything, I need, like, a designer to do it. Like, this, my fit my t-shirt ain't going to be 30 bucks. It's going to be esports this. It's going to be, like, 75 bucks. For an OPG gangster, like you're going to be in the chair feeling like you play on a basketball team, you know? 
Like, you, it's got to be some some gangster. It's going to be an out-of-pocket. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be fire. It's got to be the, the top, the cream of the crop. What do you think is the next sprawling economy? Like, what do you mean, sprawling economy? The next one that's down bad or, like, growing the most? Yo, what up, Decane? What country? What do you mean? Growing the most. Okay, there we go. Now you're talking. Um, whew, um, Morocco is pretty up there. Morocco has... I mean, I have a friend that's a Moroccan, so I've seen over the years how much Morocco has shifted from this to that, if that makes sense. Uh, Morocco. Uh, China is always growing. Uh, Africa. Africa's the king, dude. I know it sounds crazy, but I mean, you know. There's so many African countries that were that were so worse and so bad, and over the years they're just getting so bad, so much better. You know, they're still down bad in a lot of places, but they're they're doing a lot better in other places as well. Anyways, how you feel? I feel like crap, bro. I'm I'm feel like sick. I haven't I haven't seen anything on it. I'm not I'm not political, Glorbo, and I I know that's that has that falls under politics. But um, I'll definitely research them for you so I can check them out and think about them and give you my honest opinion. We're doing a podcast right now, Decaying. Everybody say what up to Decaying. Any other questions for me, chat? I, I'm loving these questions. I think you guys are doing a good job. I think that the question and answer with Pocket is awesome. Oh, no. They're just asking random questions. Questions uh, and answers for the, that the chat wants to know. So this is like a Q&A with Pocket with chat. Next game I want to see. Um, what's that game called, Nick? The one that I didn't get to play with the drivers? The one that you played? It looked gangster, bro. I was watching it, man. I wanted to play it, dude. You know what I'm talking about? It was the three people. It was big. It was big last month. I want to play that game. I was just talking about it earlier in the stream. It was just out on, like, beta. Hey, OPG, how tall are you? I am 6'4". And this is for Argentina, right, Glorbo? Does OPG microwave his pizza rolls? Yes, I do. Biggest tips for myself and other small streamers. I feel like consistency is key, but hey, you're the one with armies of followers to so share your wisdom. All right, Aiden, like I said, I was uh, 33rd asked a similar question with that. He was asking how to get more subs on Twitch. I told him what his fix would be. Your fix is, I don't know, man. I feel like you do a good job, Aiden. I feel like you got chatters. I feel like um, maybe reach out on a more personable level. Like, I know you personally. You spend a lot of time here. You enjoy being here. I enjoy hanging around you. But you know how hard it is to find that connection, right, Aiden? You do, Shoot. It took maybe 10 streams of mine for you to build that with me or whatever. And maybe, and you know, you might do 10 streams in a month, right? Right? So, um, I don't know. Like, I'm willing to lose my, even though I have 10,000 followers, I'm willing to lose 8,000, 9,000 followers to tell the, the, the one person that comes by my chat, I need them here every day, you know? So, I don't know. Maybe be more personable with the people. Maybe tell them, like, how much you need them here while you're on, you know? And they take that as, like, well, he's being too personal with me or... He, he's using me or whatever, that's on them. You, I think that you just need to be more personable or more stern, even though that's not your way. Because everything else you do is A1, and I think it's perfect.
His Twitch is the same handle, the Kang, same name. All you gotta do is hit his link. Hold on, my company's here, I think. No problem, Aiden. I think you. I think you're a great streamer, bro. Uh, and plus, you play game. You're willing to play games that others aren't, even if you like. You actually enjoy it. But like Mech Warrior, if I told Turn Up to, like, how about this, Aiden? I could tell one of my streamers on my Twitch team to take my raid and to play that game, and they won't even play it. You know? What can you do about that? You can't do anything. You can't. You know? People do things their own way or the other way, you know? What are your qualities you look for a VIP and mod? VIP, I look for people that want to be here that um, that were, that makes everyone feel comfortable, you know? If you're my VIP, everyone notices you, you know? You feel me? Like, if you're a VIP, you're known here. If you're a VIP, you if I ask you to do something, you don't feel some type of way. If I if I'm like, hey, if you bleed OPG, VIP is for the people that represent OPG. Mod is like a different ball game. Mod is like, hey, there's three type of mods in my community. There's uh, the editors, the people that are actually mods, and the people that are just mods off face. Like I said, Nick, you're a mod off face. I love JB. JB's a mod off face. That's my guy. You know, obviously those guys aren't bad motors and stuff, but. You know, Nick, you try to be. If not, you're, you know, you're just as well, if not excel in some other parts. You know, like, you can't, you know, you got to go through many, many turnarounds and many, many meeting of people to find people that are, that believe in you and your brand like that. So there's levels to it. There could be an editor, which you take, you, you live and breathe OPG. You can be my man's, which is off the face. And you're just like, hey, it's just straight gumption and love. Or, you know. You could be that different breed. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, Decay and, and like um, 33rd and Aiden. I know you guys are smaller, but like at the same time, like I'm small too, bro. You feel me? Like without you guys, I would have four less people talking to me. I'd be from 30 viewers to 25 or from 25 to 20. You know what I'm saying? So e people don't realize how each single person is a part of or is value to you and your community, you know? How do you deal with dicks? Are you more confrontational or discreet? I'm aware that it's contextual, but just in general. Okay, chat, YouTube, all right, calm down, okay? I know this is part of the bit, that's just a question. He's just saying, how do I handle dickheads? People that are assholes to the people in the community. Um, I think everybody knows how I treat people that are very, very rude to me. Um, I'm very, very blunt. I have very few rules, uh, but I'm also a person. At the end of the day, if you're not a person or if you have no rationality, I am going to be overly irrational to you. Uh, if you are one of the people that are considered a Billy, a Johnson, that guy, I start talking my mess. I make sure I stay within terms of service, tell you about yourself, and make sure the community knows exactly who you are since that is the attention that you're looking for. Does anybody agree with that? I like that. Any more questions for OPG, guys? We are now 40 minutes into the podcast. We can either do 20 more minutes or we're going to cut it off here in a little bit. Um, I do have company pulling up here in a little bit, I think. Uh, I am going to do another stream later on today uh, to make up for my stream I didn't do yesterday. New week, new leaders. I Guys, this is Thanksgiving week. I missed seven days. Like I am going to have to do 150 hours this week if I, don't, if I can't pay the bills. So Remember, guys. Donos, activity, activity brings donos. You know, if you don't have it, it's okay. Just be here. That's the most I can ask you to do. Um, 
I, I'm going to do a lot of hours this week. I'm, and don't, I don't want to do a lot of hours and have 100 viewers and no one talk to me. I don't want to stream all day and have viewers and no one talk to me. You know, so I am trying to curve um, the narrative that we have here. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm respected as a streamer. People think I'm a big streamer, but at the end of the day, I don't have big streamer numbers. And numbers is what Twitch rewards people on. And I don't want to be rewarded off a number. I want to be rewarded as a person. What made you decide to start a stream team? Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I got really, really lucky, Nick. Um, I've always had a stream team because I've always did my own teaming behind. Because remember, I was big on Mixer. So I'd help all these people out, and they would get partner, and I don't get partner, and they just go leave me and never come back. So when I realized that, I'm like, damn, maybe I should pick a team that isn't ever going to leave me. Maybe I should just raid people. That if I raid them, they'll raid me back 12 hours later or raid someone in my community and hopefully they'll see me when I go live versus everyone sees me all the time and it's fakes with me. So that's why I did it. And then I got offered a Twitch partner stream team from one of my friends who was a partner because I was denied for partner two times, even though I had Twitch partner numbers. They kept on telling me, good job, keep trying. I felt disrespected. At the end of the day, I asked one of my partner friends to give me a team and he gave me a team. I don't want to talk about that global that ends with politics, buddy. You got to get off politics. This is a terms of service stream. What made you stream full time? I had to stream full time based off the amount of influx I had. At Mixer, before I came over to Twitch, I used to average 300 live viewers. It is, global, unfortunately. It's a situation that I have no context on, so yes, it's political. Yes, I understand. That's okay. Well, I don't want to talk about that situation. It's the same thing as the submarine, you know. It's okay. I'm not on your. I'm not on your head, Glorbo. As long as you know. Um, but yeah, so that's what made me start the stream team, Nick. I got lucky. My buddy Poos. Uh, that's the reason why he's a VIP. He's the. He's the reason why we even got a Twitch stream team. Red Bull. Everyone knows that. Red Bull. Red Bull. If Red Bull will sponsor me, I'll take it immediately. TK, what's up, buddy? You alright, man? Hope you're well, dude. Any more questions? Monster all day for you? Hold on a second. Hello? Can you, can you hear me? Oh, hold on. Can, you can hear me? Alright, you know where my building is now, right? I'm work Okay, well I'm work I'm working right now, so you're gonna have to get invited in. Like they're gonna have to let you in. Okay. No, 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 I'm almost done. So well, come on now. Don't do that. Don't get in trouble now. You you the one late, I'm not late. Okay, well, dude, just call me when you get in front of my building. Yep. <clears throat> what is your most memorable War Thunder moment? Probably my first nuke. My first nuke was insane because I thought that I was going to become a big War Thunder streamer, and I didn't. Soft or hard pillows? I want a soft pillow, not a hard pillow. Depends on the mood, I suppose. <laughs> Decay. <laughs> Great answer, Decay. I like those. Soft and soft or hard is crazy, though. That is crazy. <clears throat> so, how many of you guys are going to be a subscriber to this podcast? 
I want you guys to start thinking about daily podcast questions, something that is different, and then maybe, uh, or then maybe you could do a specific topic. Some days we'll do specific topics. I like sports, but none of you guys are big sport heads, so. Hey, love you, third. Can I get a shout out for third, please? Make sure y'all give him a follow. And you know what, third? Since you don't stream on your account, everyone that gives you a follow, you can send them a whisper and say, hey, I stream off my wife's account. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. From now on out, I got I got your way for you. Every person that follows you, you can send a whisper to them and say, hey, thank you for the follow, but I stream on my wife's account. And you already know who I am. You know? Hey, it's all good, Decay. It's all good. <clears throat> One day our podcast will be good enough. We did a podcast before, six months ago, did 100 views each time, so that's pretty decent. And I average a thousand live views a day. That's what I'm saying. Even when some people don't like it, you got to keep pushing, man. You got to keep trying. One of these days will pay off. So, Gorbo, that's fine because we have to, we're able to reach all parts on the podcast. We have Australian viewers, UK viewers. You don't have to worry about that. Mania. I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is. Is it on Spotify? The podcast is not on Spotify. <clears throat> so you would have to pull it up on YouTube playlist. That's what I'm saying. Like it starts as a YouTube playlist. But I mean, come on, dude. Every podcast you ever watch, Joe Rogan, right? Joe Rogan, uh, the Logan, uh, the 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 Paul brothers or whatever. You know, like. How many of you guys watch them on Spotify? I mean, I guess they're on Spotify. Besides that, they're on YouTube, man. You got to go to YouTube and look them up. This podcast has been so good. Well, thank you, Nick. You're on episode 300 for Rogan? That's crazy. You got to go? All right. See you, TK. It's good to see you, man. I hope I see you again soon, bro. Don't let it be a couple weeks or nothing like that. Or do a stream or something. I don't know. Talk to your boy. Everybody that used to be around ain't here no more, bro. You know, if I got to start over, I'll start over. I don't mind. I start over every month. I'm to the point where I no longer mind. I no longer take offense for those that don't come around as much anymore. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're about to hit a shot on the podcast. Anybody want to want to check this out? No, no. Does anyone see my basketball hoop? Hold on. How many of y'all see my basketball hoop? Yeah? 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 Okay. Y'all see it? Right? Well, this is about basketball. You know what I'm saying? Buckets. Let me see how I look on stream. Yeah, it look good. It look good. All right. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
All right, someone make a bet. Someone make a bet, man. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice, man. What we doing? What we doing? <clears throat> this is the nerf. This is the nerf hoop. All right, chat. Now we about to have some 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 arts and craft time. Okay. Now we about to have some fun. All right. All right, chat. All right. All right. All right. So, y'all give me an incentive, man. Y'all talk to me nice. What are we doing? Are we doing three bounce shots? Uh, make three out of five air shots. What are we doing? What are we doing? Cross the room? That's too hard. That's going to be way too hard of a shot. You're not even going to be able to see me. Who said white men can't jump? Obviously, ain't seen OPG shoot hoops. Yeah, I, I play college ball, Decay, and I hope you know that. I used to play at USF. Your boy is, was a hooper hooper. All right. Oh, I missed my first bounce. Oh, missed second. I made a third one. Oh, bruh. Damn, I went one out of five. I went one out of five. All right. Oh, 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 oh. You know how hard it is to bounce this? All right. This is my KD shot. You know how hard this is? This is actually really hard. I'm not even going to hit. Net! Why the rebound? All the balls to go in hard and fast. Hey, come on, Glorbo. What's up with you, man? Hey! No, that's bullshit. Come on, bro. That's in there. Okay. Damn, bro, I almost did the in and out burger. Hold up. All right. Right, left, right, left. Oh. On the move. Brick! That's tough. That's tough. That is tough. Let me see what old girl said. <sighs> Man, you have better aim on War Thunder. <laughs> hey, bro, this shit is hard, bro. This shit is hard. Y'all get you, y'all get y'all a stick hoop and see how good he do. The hole is still the goal. Belongs on the shirt yesterday. Hey, bro, y'all, all right, all right. So, what do you say, guys? Rate the podcast one to ten. That was only an hour. That was only only almost an hour. Ten, eight out of ten, eleven. Y'all enjoyed it, though? So chat really enjoyed it. So we could turn this to a segment. If you guys get active for me, whenever I say podcast and Discord, y'all come in with some questions and think about it. Getting to know Billy? What, for YouTube? I'm just going to say uh, OPG does a, a Q&A podcast with chat. You stay for the banter? I like those. I like those. Hey, Nick, figure out how long JB is streaming for, bud. Because I can, I can get back on in two or three hours, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to even want to do that either. <laughs> 